Today we will see about the IT modernization project uh, in India post that is useful for uh, IPO examination, PS group B examination and even for the PA examination. Today the IT modernization project of Department of Post, uh, it was approved by the Government of India in the November 2012 on 22nd of November 2012 and the committee the cabinet committee on economic affairs uh, CCEA has uh, approved the project uh, on 22nd November 2012 it's easy to remember the date 22 and 11 and 12 okay then the outlay of the project is uh, 4909 crores and the aim is to Transforming the Department of Post operational efficiency and improving the service delivery of operations and administrative units. And it is through the upgraded technology and connectivity in 1,31,312 branch post offices and total of 1,56,000 including branch post offices. This is the main motto of IT modernization project. And... Uh, this project involves computerization, modernization and networking of these many offices and this project includes the providing the central server based integrated modular and scalable solutions for all operations of the department of post including the mails, human resources, banking, insurance and finance and accounts. Okay, we will see there are, we will see that in the IT modernization project we have 8 silos or 8 segments they call as one is the first one is the DCF that is the data center facility. It includes a data center and data disaster recovery center. And the second one is the second silo or second segment uh, under IT modernization project is uh, CSI that is core system integrator. We will go in deep uh, one by one. Stay tuned till then. And uh, the third one is the change management that is the training part. And this fourth one is the NI that is network integrator regarding the network that is CFE BSNL. And the fifth one is the FSI that is financial services system integrator. However, the one S yes will be missing. FSI they call financial services system integrator that is the full form of FSI. And the sixth one is RSI that is a rural system integrator. It is basically about the software. Then the Rural hardware that is seventh one is rural hardware that we call as Darpan RSI and RH put together we call as Darpan and RH is the rural hardware part that is the machine that is provided in a branch post office and the eighth one is the MOH that is the mail operation hardware. So these are the eight different silos of an IT modernization project we will go one by one. What are the segments and silos of IT modernization project means uh, in the year 2012-13 there are 8 silos we have seen. The first one is the data center facility and it is in the located uh, the vendor is Reliance and the data center is located at Navi Mumbai and uh, disaster recovery center to have the to, to withhold any disaster. The data center means it is the heart of the uh, IT modernization project actually where the entire uh, server lies in the uh, campus of the Reliance Industries in uh, Mum Navi Mumbai. There the entire data will be stored. Disaster recovery center is nothing but it is an uh, alternate for the data center that is whenever there is a disaster the data will be recovered from this place it is the PTC Mysore this disaster recovery center is located in postal training center Mysore okay the vendor is Reliance second one is the, the second silo or the second segment is a core system integrator core system integrator that is CSI and the vendor is TCS that is Tata Consultancy Services and we use SAP that is this. We will also further go deep uh, once we have an outlay of this one. Next one is the third silo or third segment is the change management. And the vendor is uh, Tata Consultancy Services TCS. And uh, 
next one is the network integrator the vendor is uh, sifi and the financial integrator financial system integrator or financial services system integrator it is infosys fsi means uh, it includes uh, both uh, pli rpli and sb so fsi means uh, uh, sb pli rpli put together it is called fsi or fs financial services and the vendor is the infosys for every uh, segment we have a vendor separate vendor and in some cases the two uh, two segments are dealt by single vendor also based on the tender approved here the next one is the sixth one is the rural system integrator rsi we call and uh, the infosys also takes care of this uh, rural system integrator also the software part we have also already seen that uh, infosys is also taking care of fsi and even uh, the rsi next seventh one is the rural hardware and rico is the vendor and uh, rural hardware we know that is for the branch post offices uh, device uh, um, darpan device is there then comes the mail operations hardware this is the dgsnd will be the vendor that means gem in gem they procure the computers peripherals and all those things uh, for mail operations hardware hcl was not awarded this contract and department has directly procured the hardware through the dgsnd okay now who will oversee these major projects uh, is uh, national institute for smart governance government executives there will be some NISG executives who will be overseeing these major projects because uh, department may not have the all the technicalities to implement an IT modernization project at all the at even the field levels. Uh, so field level, so they have introduced this uh, National Institute for Smart Governance executives. They will be having a fair knowledge in the uh, how to go ahead with the projects, and they will guide the. field units and there is also a project monitoring unit at the directorate level at circle level who will be monitoring the all the projects uh, given in the it modernization project and there will be also circle monitoring committee cmc they call and uh, there will be uh, pmg and all uh, pmg cadder uh, cpmg uh, dps and all these uh, assistant directors uh, they will be there with the te technical team and it, uh, they they will meet uh, uh, periodically to separate the problems uh, that are coming forth uh, in the projects okay that is called cmc and a uh, minutes will be drawn and submitted to them okay, let us discuss the eight silos in detail now we have seen uh, the data center facility the vendor is reliance and the maintenance of primary data center of uh, india post at navi mumbai that has started on 4 2013 and a disaster recovery center as we have seen it is uh, available in the ptc mysore that is postal training center mysore and it started on 15 5 okay so 15 5 connectivity and related hardware uh, will be provided by the network uh, integrator vendor for the dcf that is the data center facility for data center facility the hardware and connectivity will be provided by the ni vendor the primary dc will also house the department's uh, network operating center that means noc they call noc team they will be available in uh, mumbai network operations uh, they they will also be there in mumbai and uh, the secondary line is on, at chennai noc team will be in mumbai and chennai also okay then comes the financial system integrator fsi it includes a cbs plus pli plus rbli okay then the implementation started in on on 28 9 2012 and it covers cbs cis ecms atms banking through ivrs sms internet mobile etc and uh, maintenance of core banking system sorry sorry solution you should uh, understand this is solution only maintenance of core banking solution uh, Uh, as on 31 12 2020 23477 and offices have been rolled out into csi and core is core insurance solution that is called cs cis that is called cis core insurance solution 
and uh, number of offices that have been rolled out as on 31 12 20 20 is uh, 25409 and we have 1000 atms that is automated teller machines and rolled out uh, as on 31 12 2020 at least one in each district is uh, one atm is there post office atm and cash management in post office atm and cash loading is done by the vendor called ags the name of the vendor is AGS. They will be loading the cash. And however, the presently the cash about the post office will be replaced in the ATM duly making entry in the Finacle. Presently, the cash is being taken from the post office and is loaded by the AGS. Okay. The cash here, uh, the cash belongs to post office only at present. And toll free number is 8 for ATM, debit card, mobile, internet, SP, SMS banking related grievances. And general India post office uh, uh, toll free number is 1-800-266-6868. And uh, ATMs have been made uh, interoperable with the banks of with effect from 31-12-2016. This is important. Interoperable means one can take uh, withdrawal of a bank from a post office and withdrawal of a post office from a bank. Either way, it is possible. Interoperable bank, internet banking for POSB has started from 14-12-2018 and mobile banking has started from 15-10-2019. All these dates are important. Take a screenshot. The next one is the core system integrator. The vendor is Tata Consultancy Services. Implementation started on 15-4-2013. Covers the mail operations, retail, logistic post, philately, finance and accounts, human resources and integration with the other SIs. SIs means here system integrators. Okay. It is a core system integrator. It is the integrator. That means one which integrates the entire uh, other uh, silos it is called core system integrator and here you have the point of sale that is boss daily account call center help desk uh, hr that is the employment employees portal a friend day finance and accounts mail in mail we have the dpms and ipvs modules and logistics, uh, business process management, workflow, business intelligence that is called BI reports. And uh, finally, the so core system integrator is the brain of the postal system, which integrates all the system integrators. They may ask a question which is called as brain of postal system that integrates all the system integrators. <coughs> In short, CSI is connecting that is integrating other system integrators uh, in the India Post IT modernization project and uh, 513 divisions have been rolled out into CSI. It includes uh, 501 postal plus and RMS divisions and 12 independent uh, HOs or GPOs. Okay, this is about CSI. And now if we come to the part of our rural hardware that is RH. As you can see here, the image of the Darpan device. And Rico is the vendor. Earlier, uh, TCIL is uh, uh, the telecommunications uh, consultant. India is the vendor. And then it has given it to the Rico. And further, now the Rico is transformed into Minosha India Private Limited. Now it is called Minosha India Private Limited. And hardware and network provision to the BOs is the main part that is dealt in the rural hardware. Rural hardware includes the handheld devices, as you can see here, the handheld device by the BPM and a smart card will be there, a smart card reader will be there, that means a smart card can be placed and it can be read, it may be a future uh, environment and solar panel will is given, battery with the backup is given, thermal printers is given and a biometric reader is provided where you can have the biometric uh, impression uh, that allows you to that allows for the authentication of the bpm and a sim card is there and a charger for the device is provided all these equipment uh, they are provided under the rural hardware and 
one more important point under rural hardware is 5% buffer stock of inventory devices will be maintained at divisional offices to ensure immediate replacement in case of faults in hardware whenever there is a fault in the hardware 5% of uh, uh, buffer stock uh, is maintained in the divisional offices that means these devices uh, five to if there are 100 devices for a division five devices will be kept in the divisional office as a buffer stock in case if there is any faulty device from a branch post office this will be replaced immediately until that original one is got repaired by the vendor and it provides a 1,29,737 branch post offices these devices on Darpan and uh, as we have seen that uh, Darpan means digital advancement of rural post office for a new India and this has started in the year 2017 earlier this was called as rural ICT that is called RICT rural information and communications technology and it has been renamed as Darpan okay you you need to know the full form of Darpan also digital advancement of rural post office for a new India and the project outlay is 1400 crores and you should remember that IT modernization the outlay is 4909 Whereas Darpan it is 1400 crores. What is the purpose? To provide low power technology solution to each branch post office uh, to have a digital transactions. You can see here the MCD that is the main computing device. And this is provided to the branch post offices uh, or the BPM operates it and uh, wherein he can make the SB or D transactions PLI or PLI even PLI can be taken in a branch post office now with the advent of this device and uh, there is one antenna 3G stick antenna thermal printer here you can see and the fingerprint scanner for authentication it is provided multicolor touch screen is there QWERTY keypad is there contact smart card reader is there even a magnetic swipe reader car is also there and inbuilt uh, GPS is available <coughs> and speaker for voice uh, prompt in local language is also provided so this is called MCD device that is main computing device that is provided in a branch post offices now we come to the rural system integrator that is uh, the vendor is Infosys and the BO software maintenance uh, the difference between RH and RSI is uh, RH provides for the only the devices that is the hardware whereas RSI is deals with the software RSI is software the RH is a hardware this uh, Infosys uh, being the vendor of RSI it provides for the software for BO maintenance and uh, MNRE GA POSB EMO application for rural device it is available right now and B was rolled out uh, up to uh, 31 12 2020 or 129,150 under RSI next coming to the next uh, silo that is the network integrator that is uh, vendor is CFI implementation started on 28 9 2012 and uh, network provided to the 26,447 departmental post offices as on 31 12 2020 and providing what is the aim the providing the network connectivity for each departmental post office location to ensure uninterrupted network connectivity through one single wide area network that is WAN and a connection to the data center so this network will provide a connection to the heart that is the data center in the Navi Mumbai and where the data stores all the transactions of SB and all these things they will be storing in the data center and which connects it it connects the one which connects is a network integrator and there is a sequence of flow for the network is exchange will be the first one from exchange it will come to the modem and from modem it will be connected to the router and there will be a switch in the post office and from the switch to the post PC that is the personal computer so from the exchange maybe the BSNL exchange there will be one modem in the BSNL and one modem with the post office and these two modems will speak to each other and there will be a router and a switch provided in the post office and that will be connected in this sequence okay the routers uh, are of HP make are used in the DOP offices rotors uh, of the HP helmet and packet 
and you can see the juniper switches this is the model that is being used by the department you may have to remember it because uh, uh, there is a question in uh, one of the pa examination i hope and uh, i think modems of team link are used so these uh, routers are hp juniper switches and modem team link these things you should remember then comes the mail operations hardware what this uh, dgsnd is the vendor that is the, now it is gem that is government e marketplace and what is the what is the purpose is that it provision of the hardware that is computers ups barcode scanners weighing scales tag printers printers all these things to whom to the mail office that is rms and handheld devices to the postman staff in the post office these two things are handled by the this side segment that is mail operations hardware whenever there is a requirement they place a order on the jump portal that is government e market place then comes the change management implementation started on 15 10 2012 tcs is the vendor and it has been completed this change management process has been completed in the year 2015 basically change management is nothing but training building capacity building and training of all employees both gds and departmental employees in the post offices in it environment and training is given in the workplace computer training center in the respective divisions so training is given in the wtcs okay and now you can see at a glance the total silos eight are uh, given here the dcf csi cm ni fsi rsi rh and moh and the vendors are given uh, dcf it is reliance csi it is tcs cm it is tcs tcs ni is cfi fsi is infosys rsi is infosys rh is tcil required Min minosha now and moh uh, it is a dgs and the oblic gem the standards are given the project cost is given there, there is an element of capex and opex capex is the capital expenditure and opex is the operational expenditure involved in a project these are the latest figures uh, two different components are there that is capital expenditure and uh, operational expenditure and the least one is the change management and uh, these are the different product uh, cap capital and op operational expenditures and these are the outlay and capex is the long term capital expenditure that is the buildings uh, equipment machinery vehicles etc that is called capex and one time expenditure will be there and opex is the day to day operational expenditures like salaries rents utilities taxes and uh, cost of goods sold so this is the total outlay and uh, coming to the it modernization project 2.0 that is the latest one and to further strengthen its reach and customer service uh, powered by the tech competence the department of post is working on the next phase of it modernization uh, in 2021 and very recently in the february of this month first of february of 2022 a project has been approved by the department of expenditure for rupees 1785 crores was approved by the department expenditure on 12 2022 and price water house coopers private limited that is pwc has been appointed to study the status of the acquisition of it capabilities in the organization and submit a report keeping the future growth of the organization in mind and uh, now let us see other few components uh, other uh, uh, tech tech terms uh, also what is nanyata nanyata is the e letter e electronic monitoring software in android uh, gps based that is the global positioning system mobile phone for uh, letter clearances from letter boxes in india post by the mail pune or postman interested with the job that is nothing but e clearance of letter boxes using android phone there is uh, one more uh, point that uh, gup updater gup that is the group update provider dop has implemented the semantic group update provider gup in each office with more than 8 systems if this gup is the gup is a system installed with semantic antivirus ab is antivirus which downloads the antivirus updates from the central server and distributes the updates locally to the system other systems in the same subnet say for example if we have systems more than 8 then a gap gap 
uh, GUP server will be maintained. Okay, this is this is most critical system of the semantic antivirus update and end user to keep the GUP system up and running all the time. This uh, GUP server should be kept updated uh, and it should be always running even throughout the night. Tag the GUP system with the label for uh, easy identifying and uh, end user to ensure that uh, GUP is updated with the latest antivirus signature. System admins and head of the office to ensure that GUP server is powered 24 by 7 and connected to CFI network. So system will first check the for the latest signature in the configured GUP server then DC server. If both server connectivity is not working it will try to get the signature from the semantic cloud and the systems which are not configured with the GUP server will directly connect to the DC server for a live update than the semantic cloud. So basically it is uh, nothing but the uh, groups, uh, group update provider. That means one server in the offices like head offices and sub offices where the uh, number of systems is uh, beyond 8, uh, they, they will identify one system as the group update provider and it will be kept on for 24 by 7 to have establish the connectivity with the, uh, with the server main server that is the DC server okay and there is uh, another aspect called AVAD we we call AV as antivirus and AD is the active directory these two are important the con the windows active directory provides a central authentication and authentication services for the windows based computers and it also enables the network administrators uh, to assign policies, deploy software and apply critical updates to an organization. Here the DOP has implemented the Microsoft Active Directory solution and all desktops, laptops and servers should be on Active Directory. Similarly, all employees and users must have their own user ID. And Active Directory provides uh, a list of authenticated users and computers in an organization. Using Active Directory, we can uh, efficiently manage uh, users, uh, computers, uh, groups, uh, applications in a centralized location. Act actually, the Active Directory is basically for the updation of, uh, sen updation of anything, uh, any software centrally for example if there is a change in the rates that can be updated in all the systems when they are connected in the active directory okay and now we come to the email solution there is an email solution outlook web app and this is a name based aspect is there that is the group a and group b up to inspector post cadre they are given an email separately and functional aspect is there that is the office wise up up to the department of post office departmental post office level there is a functional email solution given and designation wise up to the regional level was given and password communication uh, through the mobile number will be submitted and each email will be having a departmental email uh, dot uh, india post dot gov dot in uh, they will be having the email ids uh, quota for email id is 100 mb and the password of email solution uh, email will be expired in 90 days there to 90 days that the email password should be changed by the user and email ids that is name based will be created for all employees of dop under the group a and group b gusted and uh, inspector post category and employee id is mandatory for creation and functional email ids as we have seen uh, like a designation basis shall be created for all the designations uh, standard designations available in the department uh, up to regional level all divisions and other dop offices will have one email for each office and mobile number as of the custodian is to be mentioned for communicating the email password and the email quota for each employee is 100 MB we have seen and all e employees are advised to use Microsoft Outlook for a day to day, day, -to -day use and the password will expire in 90 days so change should change the password before expiry and inactive email account means uh, any account which is inactive for a period of 90 days will be deactivated so whenever the email uh, has been inactive for a period beyond 90 days it will be deactivated and the user id along with the data will be removed from the email system after a period of 180 days so whenever it has uh, gone beyond 180 days it will be archived and if no request for activation is received for the period it will be removed after 180 days and uh, it will be archived if there if there is no request for activation during this period now let us see some short forms uh, um, 
terminologies and full forms of IT modernization project MBE that is a mail booking engine it is from the silo CSI in CSI we have the mail booking engine MBE they call and the next one is the CSI that is core system integrator it is one of the silo then comes the DPMS that is delivery manage del delivery postman management system delivery postman management system that is DPMS in CSI silo then the IPVS, IPVS means India Post Visibility System wherein you, you will be operating major operations uh, in IPVS are in the RMS basically. Then comes the LSM that is the letter sorting machine in CSI. LSS is also from CSI silo that is the labor scheduling system. MLASS uh, in CSI means uh, mail logistic appointment scheduling system. PIS in CSI means personal information system. It is uh, regarding HR that is the human resource development. Then comes the SPS that is the sort program system in mails. SSO is single sign on where you can uh, access all the modules in the CSI system using single sign on just by entering a single uh, password and a user id you will be able to access all the different modules in csi that is called single sign on tms is transport management system atm is automated teller machine cbs is core banking solutions and ecms is enterprise content management system this you will see in uh, rpli documents uh, scanning and uh, that is retrieved whenever it is required. For, say for example in uh, RPLA or PLA the applications are scanned in the system and uh, whenever there is a maturity this uh, application scan can be retrieved that can be taken back and see whether about the nomination, about the claim, about the signature also you can see all these things uh, this is called enterprise content management. EMV chip is it is basically relates to ATM that is Euro Mastercard Visa and FSI is a financial services system integrator. TCF means data center facility under NI and DNS is domain name system. GUI is the graphical user interface. LAN IP means local area network internet protocol. MAC binding they call it in a, a network integration NI. Uh, that is called media access control. Mac binding uh, makes you not to go out of the system. And uh, MPLS is the network integrator part that is the multi protocol label switching. And uh, NI is network integration. NIOP is network integration operations plan. There is an IOP document also. And NOC is the network operations uh, center uh, that is available in Mumbai and uh, Chennai, I have told. NOFN is the national optic fiber network. And NSP is the network service provider. NSP1 and NSP2 we call. NSP1 is uh, BSNL in the network integrator. And NSP2 is SIFI itself. This is important. And SIC card is a smart interface card. Then SNAC is the semantic network access control. Semantic is the antivirus that we use in DOP. And uh, for that, uh, semantic network access control is the SNAC policy. TNF is technically not feasible. This is uh, important. The, uh, whenever an office is uh, unable to be connected uh, through a system, through network, uh, then it is called technically not feasible generally. NFBOs are the branch post offices where uh, network cannot be provided because it is not technically feasible. Okay, next uh, VPN OBB means uh, virtual private network over broadband. Uh, MPLS similar to that, uh, this is a VPN OBB. These are two different uh, network uh, channels. And WAN is the wide area network. FTTH is the fiber to home. Recently, this is being used to establish network connectivity wherever there is a, uh, wherever the NSP1 and NSP2 are absent for the reason of their not being in the established in that location. 
RH is rural hardware. Darpan means digital advancement of rural post office for a new India. RICT is rural information communication technology. RSA is rural system integrator. CIS is core system solution. And AMPC is automated mail processing center. You find them in Calcutta, Delhi and so on. Where the system automatically the mail will be processed using a sort program. That is automatic sorters will be available through machinery. COD is cash on delivery, EMO is electronic money order, MNOP is mail network optimization project, MPCM is multi-purpose counter machine, PBI is Post Bank of India, WUMT is International Western Union money transfer, BIU is business intelligence unit, CCEA is cabinet committee on economic affairs, this is the committee that has approved for 4,909 crores. CEPT is the Center for Excellence in Postal Technology is located in Mysore. DBT means Direct Benefit Transfer. DPR means Detailed Project Report. DSCI means Data Center Council of India, Data Security Council of India. EOI means Expression of Interest. Recently, Mod IT Modernization Project 2 uh, it has been, um, Expression of Interest has been given in the website. FTP is the File Transfer Protocol. GIS is a geographical information system. GL is the general ledger in CSI. GPS is global positioning system. GUP is the uh, group update provider under and network integration. That antivirus, sorry. And uh, IMO is international money order. IMTS is international money transfer service. IPPB is India Post Payments Bank. S is there. IVR is interactive voice response. We uh, find often in the telephones, whenever we call to a company, there will be immediate I IVR response. And KPI is the key performance indicator. MNOP and PNOP, there will be KPIs, that is key performance indicators. LSA is licensed uh, service area. MMTS is a mobile money transfer service. MO is memorandum of understanding. MM MTTR is a mean time to resolve. In any project, this thing will be asked for the vendor. Meantime to resolve. NACH is National Automated Clearing House, wherein the, all the uh, UPI payments and all the electronic payments will be cleared, that gateway. NEFT is National uh, Electronic Fund Transfer. It is one of the payment method. NPCA is the National Payment Corporation of India, which regulates all these uh, gateways. And OEM is the original equipment manufacturer. Say, for example, Hyundai, Tata, anything will be a, a original equipment manufacturer and there will be dealers uh, under them. OTP is the one-time password. PIC is the Project Implementation Committee for any project. PMA is Postman Mobile Application. PMU is the Project Management Unit. PRS is the passenger railway uh, reservation system and uh, RCA any, in any project is a root cause analysis whenever there is any issue in the technology they ask for this root cause analysis RFP is the request for proposal this is under GFR 2017 uh, request for proposal is to be submitted for any requested for proposal is to be submitted for any project then RTGS is real-time gross settlement. SAP means systems, applications and products. This is important. SLA is service level agreement. SMS is short messaging service. SRS is uh, software requirement specifications. STQC means uh, standardization tech testing and quality certification. This is normally asked for in uh, purchases uh, of standard equipment. UAT is user acceptance testing. And UIDAI is Unique Identity Development Authority of India, Aadhaar we know. And NIC is National Informatics Center. NOC is Network Operating Center. UPS is Uninterrupted Power Supply. AMS is Agency Management System. NISG is National Institute for Smart Not Government. This you should mind. Government it is. SI is system integrator, SLR is the service level requirement, POS is point of sale, point of sale systems, SAN is storage network, WFMS means workflow management system,
USP is universal service provider. This is important. It's universal service provider. HRMS means a human resource management system. LMS means lead management system. This lead management system means uh, whenever you enter a website of any other company, generally there will be a chat bot. Uh, they will be asking for your mobile number. They will be asking for your emails and they will transfer it to their uh, system or database and uh, customer and their uh, service uh, call center fellow they will call you that is called lead management basing on the leads uh, that are taken from the website or whatever it is they will pursue with the customer to have the business and sdp is the service delivery platform nofn is national optical fiber network ofc is optical fiber network cable and CIC is the Circle Implementation Committee, RIC is Regional Implementation Committee, TPIC is Technical Projects Implementation Committee, CIM is Customer Inter Interaction Management, EMS is Enterprise Management System, this is important, NMS is Network Management System, ESB is Enterprise Service Bus, FRS is the Functional Requirements Specification, RFD, this is also important, Results Framework Document, PCC is the Project Coordination Committee, ARC is Architecture Review Committee, EFMS is the Electronic Fund Management System, CPSMS is the Central Plan Scheme Monitoring System, IP is Internet Protocol, IVRS is Integrated Voice Response System, this is important, SPARO, SPARO means Smart Performance Appraisal Report Recording Online Window, this is uh, for the Group E officers uh, for writing their APAR. Okay, annual performance appraisal report and uh, so this is the end. Thank you. Subscribe to career post. Do subscribe to career post for getting the latest video. Click the bell icon. Thank you.